Hi, this is Jim Starfarther, the publisher of Kitmaker Network and Armorama.com, and welcome to another issue of... Issue? Welcome to another episode, I meant to say episode, <laughs> of Turning the Page. So this one is uh, the Scale Model Attic Magazine. We've had a couple of reviews up on this before, I believe. This is issue number four. Um, I'm not sure if this is put out quarterly or what the deal is, but it is $12 US and $8 uh, in uh, euros, eight euros in, in Europe. And I believe there's a publisher in Europe, so that, that's why they're probably able to do that and save money on printing. Great idea. Uh, as you can see from the cover, this is kind of a groundwork vignettes and diorama issue. That's why I think they're calling it a special issue here because they did all essentially dioramas and stuff. That's kind of cool. And uh, that's two kind of cools in a row. Um, edited by Ken Abrams. Um, I think people from Armorama kind of remember from Ken back from the day. And um, it is also Scott Gervon, uh, who did the original uh, Scale Model Act website and did such a great job with that. And I think this kind of spun off a magazine, which is... Again, kind of cool. So that's three kind of cools. Uh, I don't know, maybe we'll put like a three kind of cool thumbs up on the screen or something else. Anyways, all right, so here's the introduction. Um, museum in miniature, art of vignette, knocked out, echo base, tea time after the battle, and a Rymog. I hope I'm saying that right. Oh, and Knock and Talk, which is the first one. Uh, so here's uh, Tales from the Man Cave. Now, this is interesting. This is obviously a, a Mang pickup truck, and I believe some custom diorama uh, stuff here, very nicely done. Um, and let's flip kind of flipping through museum and miniature. Uh, so you can see the, the quality is really good. They give you like kind of a, almost a book quality of, again, a little bit like Abrams squad, which is also on their fourth uh, issue, uh, in terms of the kinds of pictures they're putting out, uh, much like a soft cover book or something would do in some, with some other publishers. So that's the kind of way I look at these they are kind of like, um, soft cover books, just smaller maybe, or, or, you know, like more on a quick, uh, uh, more more often put out than say a book would be. So um, that's an interesting little build there with all the diorama debris on the top there. And uh, all right, so continuing on, um, we've got the knock and talk one. Um, and it uh, looks good, you know, it's, 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 I'm sure for, you know, for modelers, most of these magazines are, they've just got so much cool stuff in them. You know, I wish, I wish uh, sometimes uh, actually, we've got cool stuff, so and I don't wish that. <laughs> I was going to say, I wish we had the cool stuff, but we, we do have pretty cool stuff. So, all right, so, uh, yeah, that's a nice, that's a nice diorama there. I love this tree. Um, and that one is, uh, which one was that, the tea time? Or no, the tea time after the battle. Um, so, the only thing I wish they would do is put the author's names in, like, kind of bigger writing, because it's a, they'll put above the, about the author, but then it's really hard to read the author in here. It's like, uh, George... Porto del Coral, but I had trouble earlier when I was trying to do a, a, a version, and there's that remog one. All right, so yeah, I'm just kind of giving you like the quick flip through version, um, but yeah, lots of issues there. They even kind of teased the next issue, number five, which is probably out. I'm not sure. I did get this one a while back, and I apologize. I should have had it out sooner on video, but we've just been overhauling our book area, and I was kind of waiting to do some of these uh, so that they, they could go out with the revised uh, book area, which, or book and magazine and, and that type of stuff, which if you are on the homepage, click on the references um, t title down at the bottom or click the more next to it and it'll take you to the new uh, the new book page. It's a little kind of like Pinterest in the sense that it, um, it kind of lays out on the page a little differently than our rest other content areas. Well, thanks for watching this one. And if you uh, are interested in Scale Model Attic, I believe you can go to their website, which is scalemodelatticmagazine.com. Or you can try to look for it with your local uh, hobby stores. I'm sure some of them are probably stocking it. Uh, but it, I believe it is available through various online uh, sources as well. So uh, our thanks to the folks there for sending us this copy, and I hope they continue to send them to us so we can check out all these cool new projects. Thanks for watching, and, and have a good day.